Well, the truth is, we're both speechless. And that's saying something for a haggard. <laughs> this is truly an extraordinary day. As I watched, and we watched, that boxcar being brought out of the alley, we looked at each other. We couldn't say a word. We thought we were really strong, really got it all together, but we lost it. That boxcar represents so much happiness. It was absolutely amazing how cozy it was. It was warm in the winter, cool in the summer. You know, everybody here is, is really special because of your interest, and I appreciate it. I know my sister does. My father and mother would certainly be surprised and, to see what's happened with the old box car. You know, it's, it's been the inspiration for more than one song that's been published all over the world. And that's about all I got to say other than one more time. Thanks to everybody. I remember we moved in September the 15th, 1935. And um, we had electricity and we had water, but they didn't have the gas hooked up yet. So I don't know where they got this little wood, uh, wooden cook stove, but they put it in the middle of the lawn and they lit a fire and they cooked dinner and we invited all the relatives to celebrate our house. And we've been celebrating that house all these years. And I'm so glad that the museum has accepted it so that others can come. And when it is beautiful again, it's going to be cozy, as my mother called it, and we're going to restore it to her favorite house. She owned three houses. This was her favorite.